and another dark Saturday morning. It's 10 to 7 of 6.50. It's the 7th of December 2013. It's cool but not cold. There's a light breeze. We have high pressure weather. And that's where I get my papers in the morning and there's no echo. Bar humbug. And look, bed has just gone all festive. Yeah, that's what we sort of do for festivities, won't you? You can't overplay your Christmas card. I think. Anyway. Mm. No echo. Did I say no echo? There's no echo. Which is a disappointment. So, off to Newport. Uh, with, mm. <laughs> Roughly where that bus is, that's my bus stop. In search of some festive tiny rebel. And maybe a luxury mince pie or two. Right, bored enough. Let's get... Oh, in other news this week, in lots of other news this week, uh, Mr Curry, the podfather, kicked out an episode of the Daily Source Code. The first this year. Maybe the yearly Source Code. And um, Tom Merritt's contract with Twit is not being renewed. Mike Elgin is in. The interwebs are alive. Pastebin has lots of stuff. Um, my feelings. Well, when he followed his wife to Los Angeles, I think the writing was on the wall. Um, they want a permanent supervisor, news chief, whatever, which is difficult to do from afar. Gonna miss Tom. And missed Tom when he left uh, Buzz Out Loud on that can after a while. Hope TNT doesn't. But Tom and Molly back together. Yeah, that would be a nice Christmas present. So, uh, it's going to be a podcast plus day. That's off to RSS. And Newport. I suppose life... Well, life isn't really too bad, and the biggest decision you've got to make on a day is where do you go for your early morning coffee? I know I didn't intend to. Uh, the Starbucks app has got money on it, there's a free iTunes download, and it's in my direction of travel. That's not too bad. And now jingling in the John Wallace Linton. No iTunes things in Starbucks. Mm. Bar Hamburg. I've had to move. Uh, there's Wi Fi issues, and you don't get 3 3G at the back of the place. So we're now looking out onto the street. Anyway, Merry Christmas, luxury, and spy. This is Christmas Blonde Fox. A very festive 5.2% alcohol. I can't even say alcohol by volume. And this is box steam brewing. And it says it's citrusy. I would say it's almost lemony, which I like. But it's not that good. Which is poor. But it's nice. Which is a B plus. This is number two. There's a song there somewhere from those fine Rick War brothers. This is Mr. Chris. <laughs> this is Christmas Cracker, a 4.2 percent alcohol by volume. And see that pillow there on the other side. That's where the hot spot is. Full strength. Could probably need just a reboot. That tastes really powerful, really good. That is more your classic English, you're quite near the border here, Welsh, bitter, B++. Look at that, Christmas, great. There's a tree over there, which I took a picture of earlier and Google auto awesome it. Wonderful. And technology excellent. Anyway, 
gone through all the Christmas beers, so I'm on rum, rum the export, which is brewed in Blind Haven. Okay, 5% alcohol by volume, local brew, used to be painted on the roofs of pubs. That was the hobby horse version though. Look, Mr. Manny, no carpet. Solid Welsh drinking ale, B plus, happy. And the daily source code. Ah, oh, an old friend has returned. Wow, look at the lamb. One, two, three, four, five, six Christmas tree. Bass, HPA, hooky, Santa's little better. Tiny, tiny rebel. We'll have a crack anyway. Let's start with a festive hello to Mr. Manning, who is a carpet spotter. This is carpet. There's the beers. And though it doesn't mention it, there's full bar on. Full bar, 4.4% alcohol by volume. A Newport brewed pale ale. And let's be quite honest, although it's not in the authentic glass, this is a very well kept point. Mm, um, see outside? Oh, whatever. I don't know. A or A minus? I think A minus because I'm a curmudgeon. I'm the John C. Dvorak. Seth Williams beers. Hashtag JCD. Hashtag twit. Actually listening to twit at the moment. I can multitask. This is what happens when you have a rather old home. And he's constantly charging. Thank you Apple for a customer non-changeable battery. Tim, I'm looking at you. Not Tim from Bargood. From Carmarthenshire, actually from Carmarthen. This is Santa's Little Belter by the Kite, 4.7% alcohol by volume. And there seems to be some sort of Man United thing going on up there. Luckily there's no sound, so um, Google won't um, bark against this. Probably will anyway, but whatever. And the fire? Wow, well, that's not a fire. <laughs> that? That is a solid fight. That is a very solid fight. P plus plus. Thank you. Almost crafty. I'm in the red lion. It's it's Coventry in the Premiership, which is a long time ago. I think this Christmas. Drinking IPA. Does it qualify to be an IPA if it's only 3.6% alcohol by volume? I'm struggling with this one. Absolutely struggling. Although, I like the beer mats and the Christmas tree. Look, Mr. Manning, carpet. No fireplace. That's for Garth Harley, yo. It's not bad. It's a bitter. Not an IPA. B plus. I don't think there's Wi Fi here. And as I said, Coventry in the Premiership. 